Uganda has the world's youngest population, with over 78% of its population below the age of 30. According to demographic research, close to 8 million youth are aged 15 to 30 years. Unfortunately, Uganda is experiencing one of the highest youth unemployment in sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, um, our dividend, our demographic dividend is not really uh, harnessed to see that the young people can have some contribution to the growth and development of the country. Dreams of Tropical Youth, Uganda is a youth-led, non-government organization working towards addressing the social, economic and health challenges facing the adolescent youth in Chotera and Rakai districts in the southwestern region of Uganda. Uh, indeed, the young people across the country are faced with quite a number of challenges. Um, among them include uh, sexual and productive health and rights uh, challenges that include HIV and AIDS, uh, teenage pregnancies that are too high, uh, menstru poor menstrual health management, uh, alcohol and drug abuse. St. Mark and Dolway Primary School, found in Chotera District, was built in 1944. With a school pupil population of 650 currently, challenges facing the aging school are enormous. The dilapidated structures, lack of water, sharing one latrine facility among boys and girls, to mention just a few. The school had two pit latrines, one constructed by the government, with only five stances, one for the disabled and four for the rest of the school. And then we had another old pit latrine that was constructed by the parents, which is soon collapsing. So the population of ranging from 650 to around 700 pupils, including right their teachers, we are using one pit latrine, whereby one stance can be used by uh, 57 to 70 boys and girls plus their teachers. Such an environment has affected greatly girl-child education in the region. Girls often drop out of school at an early age. The situation is worse, with adolescent girls undergoing menstrual period. They have no facilities to help them manage menstruation. To demystify uh, the stigma that is around menstruation. We are trying to step up education uh, among girls and also teachers to make them aware and also tell the girls to appreciate uh, menstruation as a normal body change and it happens to, to every girl. The dreams of tropical youth Uganda came in to improve the school environment. They have constructed a latrine facility for girls, specifically with a changing facility washroom for girls undergoing menstruation. We got a chance of separating uh, the girls from the boys. So now we are having two pit latrines which are not in mixed use. Uh, the, boys, uh, the boys and the male teachers are using the old pit latrine that was constructed by the government. In the old toilet facility, we are sharing it with the boys. We had no bathroom. Now in the new facility, we are able to bathe and even change our clothes. Toilet enyambio, kubanga toilet tu ina binabiro katituna babulunji. The pupils have been also exposed to reusable menstrual pads training. This is helping them to manage menstruation. Thank dreams of the Tropical Youth Uganda for training us or for training our children how to make reusable pads. The biggest challenge now is water for hygiene and sanitation in the school. Drote Uganda donated a 500 liter tank, but this was a drop in the ocean. The pupils have to trek long distances to fetch water from a swamp over a kilometre away. From a shallow well. However much, it is not very far. But when you put water 
when you put water in the jerry can and you cover it for a period of, for a period of two to three days, you find some insects. So the water we are using is not at all good. Focusing more on girl child empowerment, the dreams of tropical youth Uganda have extended a similar latrine facility to Kalere Migongo Primary School in Navigasa sub-county, Chotera District. The people have been sharing five stands over peat latrine, both boys and girls. They built for us a latrine for adolescent girls, whereby they provided stances for latrines and bathrooms where learners can go and and ease themselves. The challenge here was also high dropout of adolescent girl child due to poor management of menstruation. They lacked a friendly environment. We have cultural beliefs that during menstrual periods, those grown up girls uh, stopped from coming to school. Some of them lack materials to use during their periods. <laughs> The construction of a latrine facility with washroom and changing room and changing the mindset of the community about menstruation is now keeping more girls at school. Namulin Nuliat, in Primary 7 at Kalere Mugongo Primary School, is a person with disability. She's comfortable to stay at school with a latrine facility constructed with special needs stands. <laughs> In most development uh, programs, people with disabilities are left out. But because we want to, we look at inclusion of everybody, uh, we see that um, girls or boys with disability need to pick or to be part of the package that we provide as Dreams of the Tropical Youth Uganda. Dreams of Tropical Youth is also mobilizing the community in the two districts of Chotera and Rakai towards reproductive health challenges. We look at engaging uh, young people in quite a number of ways to see that they are actively and meaningfully engaged in uh, community development. Uh, for example, we, we do school visits through our peer-to-peer -peer education program and we use uh, professionals to meet these young people, talk about their challenges, inspire them to keep in school, inspire their visions and dreams towards a brighter future. Through counseling and guidance and health one, they have mobilized the youth to take care of their health. For now, Drote is aspiring to engage youth into job-oriented citizens. But with challenges in job creation, how are they planning to do this? Uh, we want to engage the community. We want to see that young people are meaningfully involved uh, in the development and the change of things in this community. We want to inspire young people to keep in school. So we are looking at also setting up uh, training, uh, skilling these young people to be able to um, make a living by themselves. We are trying. Addressing concerns of the growing population, no doubt that the youth will be living in their future now.